Hey everyone and welcome back. So today I wanted to go ahead and give a look to the homeschool planner that I'm going to be using for this next coming school year. I tend to change planners quite consistently. I definitely like change. I like to try out different things and see if they can work for our family. What I did notice last year, I used the um, Anna Vance Paper Company planner and I loved it. It was beautiful, well made. Um, you can tell that she really puts time and effort in her products, but I just wasn't using everything that she offered. And I tend to go more on the whole minimalistic approach when it comes to planning because as much as I love the bells and whistles and how beautiful they look, I just never use them and it just feels like a waste of paper for me. Um, because once again, I don't use everything that is offered. For someone who does like those extras and keeping track of everything on paper, um, then I feel like that's a really good option. If you like to see the video of that, then I will go ahead and link that for last year's planner. Um, I did enjoy it. It was very beautiful, like I said. I enjoyed writing in it and I enjoyed looking at it. I just didn't use everything. And so this year I decided to go with a more minimalistic approach. For my planner and so I found this homeschool lesson planning uh, minimalistic notebook this is a 52 week undated um, planner and this is I found this on Amazon for $18 and it is by school nest it uses a dot grid journal inspired framework to guide you in planning and documenting your homeschool lessons so the templates are flexible, you can add what you want for them, and you can make it your own to fit your needs and the way that you homeschool. It's designed as an undated 12 month or 52 week planner, and the monthly calendars are actually all at the front of the planner, which you will see when I go ahead and do a flip through of this. You can use it anytime because once again, it is undated. It does include blank grid pages, a yearly overview calendar page, field trip pages, attendance trackers, class pages, um, curriculum overview pages. It has a book list page, a curriculum progress tracker. So it does have a, a couple bells and whistles. Once again, there's some things that I may not end up using, but we will see. I will try my best to use them since it is more of a minimalistic, um, not as much information, not as much pages, but we will see. Let's go ahead and just get into it. I'm gonna do a flip through and show you guys what this planner looks like on the inside. So as you can see here, the cover and the back cover have this very nice nature butterfly type of um, artwork on it. I really liked the nature butterfly aspect of it because kind of my favorite things. So this is the beginning of it. As you can see here, I have some tabs. I actually added these tabs myself just for me to be able to go to specific areas um, of this planner very easily. It did not come with these tabs. It was all just the book. But once again, just added these tabs from Walmart. May end up changing them, um, but this is just what I had at the time. So I have grid paper tabbed, calendar field trips, attendance, curriculum overview, book list, curriculum progress, monthly view, and a weekly view. So starting off, you have just the page. You can put the homeschool year. So here you have an overview of what your planner will actually include, as well as the maker school nest. Here you have a blank grid page and you have another grid page and another one. And then you go ahead and switch over to the calendar. So here you can add January through February or January through December. And then on this side, you have field trips. So you can also add January to December and just the field trips that you want to do for that month. We have not actually done any field trips. I want to start implementing field trips into our homeschool. So we will see if I end up using this. And then you have another grid page and then you get to the attendance records. So here you can go ahead and mark down the days so you put the month up here and then the days of that month, you can mark down how many days you actually schooled and then you can tally up the total at the bottom. Next, we get to the classes and curriculum overview. So here you can go ahead and add your curriculum as well as an explanation of it. Or you could put like curriculum and how many lessons there are in that curriculum. Then you get to the book list and it's just basically grid paper 
um, that's kind of cut off in the middle. And so you can add lists of books on each side. There are a couple of pages of this. Well, it looks like there's four pages of that. And then you have your curriculum progress. So once again, you can add your curriculum here. And then just based on the number of lessons in that curriculum, you can go ahead and mark it down instead of having to write it out. So that I did like. And you have, it looks like, four pages of that as well. <clears throat> then you once again have another blank page, but it looks like it's kind of uh, has a mark down here. So you can actually make this into a tracker if you want or whatever you decide for that page. Then you get into the monthly view. So the monthly view, you will add the month of and the dates. And you have one, and it looks like these trackers are on the back of the months. So probably if you want to add trackers for that month, then you can add it onto this page. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you have 12 pages of the monthly view with the thing that you can add for the trackers, with the grid pages that you can add for the trackers. Then you have the weekly view. So these are weekly goals and notes you put this week. You can make some notes on the side, check them off as you complete them. And then here you can add your schedule, maybe some more notes. And then you get into the actual weekly plan. So what you will notice is that with the beginning every week, you will first start off with kind of a snapshot of the week, and then you will get into the actually planning of the week. So here's where I'll actually add my curriculum. Not sure if I'm gonna put the curriculum subjects on the top or on the side, and then the days of the week on the top or on the side. Probably figure that out later on but you can go ahead and add your curriculum down into this area. And then once again, you have the weekly goals and notes and the weekly plan, weekly goals and notes, and that just continues on and on and on. As you can see, because once again, this is 452 weeks. So you will have a weekly plan for each of those weeks. Okay, and I didn't add a tab because I ran out, but I am planning on adding a tab here for the end of the year wrap up. So for the end of the year wrap up, you will have what went well, focus for the next year. And then once again, what went well, focus for the next year if you need some more room. And you have another page of that. And then you have just a little thank you for purchasing this planner and just two blank pages. So as you can see, very minimalistic. There are a couple extras, but they're very, um, it's not very colorful. I personally do like that it's a little bit more um, just black and white because then I can add my own color, whether that's through stickers, washi tape, uh, my pens, things like that. So that is basically the overview as well as a flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, this is the Homeschool Lesson Planning Minimalistic Notebook, the 52 week undated. You can find this on Amazon. Um, I can leave a link, but it's pretty easy to search on Amazon as well. So I can go ahead and link it down below if you guys just want to click right to it, or you can search for it yourself on Amazon, um, $18. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I will try my best to answer them. Bye everyone.